Hi everyone. I have an unboxing uh, to do today. This was actually um, from a prize that I won. Uh, I was watching Scott's Inverts uh, live stream the other day and he had a live stream special um, with a load of giveaways for him hitting 9,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. So congratulations to him because I mean, that's huge. Um, I'm sure it'll be 10,000 very soon. Um, also, side note, I hit just over 100 subscribers on this channel. So that's also amazing and I'm chuffed a bit. So thank you everyone that's been subscribing. It honestly means the world to me. But um, yeah, on his live stream, he had the, a whole bunch of uh, his friends had... Um, like donated prizes for him to include in this giveaway. And there were, I, I believe, three main prizes at the end. Um, and I hadn't won anything up to that point. Um, and I think the last three prizes were two £100 mystery boxes from Spa Spiders. And the other main prize was an adult female tarantula from Yorkshire Tees. My name popped up and I won the spider. So that was completely and utterly amazing because I don't know if you saw my short that I put on here the other day, but I actually won um, Jason's prize of a sling as well. Uh, and it happened both in the same week. So as I said, this was a mystery spider but I actually contacted Ads, who whose spider it is, it's his company or his business. Um, and I asked him what it was. And all I'm going to say is if you watch Mr. Grinler and his lovely partner or wife, Mrs. Grinler, one of their latest videos where they were rehousing a spider they bought at the Bedford show, this is the same bloody spider so yeah if you saw that video you'll know why i'm nervous i'll put i'll see if i can link to that video you need to go and watch it I, literally my soul left my body watching that video but we're going to try and do it calmly so let's get this box opened anyway oh. chucky's already on my leg waiting for peanuts you have to wait and see. I don't know if there's any in here yet. There might not be. <gasps> That's so friggin' cute. So Yorkshire Tees. got a little um Yorkshire tea tea bag a little Yorkshire tea is that a magnet or a sticker it's a sticker and a little lotus biscoff biscuit <laughs> in a little spider bag oh my god that's so adorable oh I love it chuck 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 on your bow tie Oh, so handsome. Are you on it? Okay, thank you. Oh my goodness. If I drop these, he's going to eat all of them. Ooh. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so scared. I'm not, I'm not scared. 
be calm. So in here, we've got an adult female, Cereopagopus libidus. And she's an adult female, so I'm sure she's going to be extra pissed off because that was what Mr. Grenler and his wife had in their video. And if you saw that video, seriously, that spider was squaring up to them and it had its hands up in the air and it was going to go for the jugular. It was, it was ready to fight. So what I'm going to take from that video is that I am not going to give it the opportunity to fight me. I do not need to be creating um, more stress for myself. So I hope you understand. But let's set up an enclosure and see what this little lady is all about. Fingers crossed. Taking me a little longer, but there she is. <coughs> well, she's gorgeous. She's very calm. She, has, she did a roly poly several times. That was way less of a headache than I was expecting it to be. Um, I don't know if she's just a bit cold or I'm not sure, but she didn't threat pose or slap or give me any shit whatsoever. So I don't know if I'm incredibly lucky or if my spider is unwell. Um, but this is her and she is stunning. I'm trying to show you the blue on her legs. Because it is glowing. But my phone for some reason is not picking it up very well. I'll pop some pictures into it because they're showing up better. This is my prize from Yorkshire Tees and she is beautiful. I will keep an eye on her over the next couple of days, make sure that she's eating and drinking and then um, hopefully she will get her bad attitude back. Um, or maybe this one's just a sweetheart, but I doubt it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm over the moon. She's gorgeous. Thank you, Ads. Just wanted to let you know that I did blow through the mesh and she quickly bolted forward and moved absolutely fine. So I think she was just playing dead, lulling me into a false sense of security, but she's fine. So I just 
um was thinking about like how that just went and how easy it was and i swear to you i have never got myself so worked up over a rehousing as i did this and it was all because i watched that video on mr grindler's channel um where his partner or wife was having a meltdown and i saw how angry their female was and i thought that meant that this one was going to be as well and she wasn't and now i feel stupid <laughs> because i think if i'm calm and i you know keep a level head when i'm rehousing these tarantulas I don't know why I would think that I'm going to have a problem because I've never had a problem before. So why would I have a problem now? Just do the same thing that you've been doing. It's been working. I've had one escape out of all the tarantulas that I've got. I have had one that got out and that was the orph orphanaceous Filipinas. And that did give me the runaround, but that was my fault. And I learned from it. It ran up the tweezers. That was my fault over something so stupid as well there was a tiny bit of tissue paper in there that i was like oh i don't know that it looks messy so decided to go in again and take it out i knew it was stupid and i still did it and it backfired on me so i won't do that again you know i wait till the spider has calmed down or gone into its hide and then i remove anything i don't want in there i don't know why i didn't just register this in my head beforehand like I knew what I was going to do and I still was getting myself worked up because I saw someone else have a bad experience. So I think you need to be calm and you need to put yourself in the right state of mind to do these rehousings. If you're worried and you're shaking and, you know, shitting yourself that your spider's going to go crazy, wait until you have calmed down because they can pick up on it the same as most animals can they can pick up on the tension in the air you know you you breathe different your pulse is different you react different you're more jumpy and they know that so i did my best to stay calm told myself you know you got, you got this you know what you're doing and it was easy yes i did concentrate all the way through and didn't talk but it was fine and she's beautiful by like, I just feel stupid now, but I'm sure we've all done it. But I just wanted to um, say a huge thank you to Scott's Inverts and a huge thank you to Ads at Yorkshire Teas because this is not a spider that um, has even been on my radar because, as I said, I'm pretty new to old worlds. So to have a fully grown adult female that looks this amazing and she's this beautiful like i feel like the luckiest girl alive she is stunning i mean i love all my spiders but the coloring on her is amazing she's glowing so i realized because i hadn't like talked that i've not even shown you the enclosure that i've put her in so you'll have to excuse the mess on my table because i've made up a load of enclosures this afternoon um, but I'll show you what I did just so you can tell me if I did anything wrong. Because like I say, she's my first C. Lividus. Lividus? Lividum? Lividus. Lividus, I think. Um, excuse the dogs. So if I have done anything wrong or you think there's anything that I could change that's not too difficult for me to change now she's in there, please do let me know. But this is what I've done. So she's in one of the creature what are these called creatures zoomed creatures habitat i think and they're the ones that are 20 by 20 by 30 i've got about five or six inches at the front here of soil and then if i show you at the side i've kind of stacked it up at the back here i think this is about eight inches put some moss all around and a big hide and then I dug out like a um like a little den bit inside there but I'm sure she'll make her own um and the wart dish some moss and some leaf litter like I usually do but I'm hoping that 
this will be all right for her. My eye am chuffed a bit. So once again, thank you to Scott's Inverts and Ads at Yorkshire Tees. Um, this is adorable as well. That is such good marketing. 10 out of 10. So now I'm going to move on to my spiders from enclosures. I'm very excited to do that. So hopefully you'll join me in that video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.